हेलो एवरीवन होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट अपर न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल थ्योरी मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल थ्योरी वाज गिवन बाय मूली कैन एंड होन बोथ टू साइंटिस्ट इन 1927 दे गिव दिस वन थ्योरी दे सेड दैट व्हेन एटॉमिक ऑर्बिटल्स ओवरलैप दे गिव राइज द टू मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल्स लाइक वी आर हैविंग एटॉमिक ऑर्बिटल ओवरलैपिंग लाइक वी आर टेकिंग एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एच टू एच टू ओवरलैप वन एच ओवरलैप विथ अनदर एच दे राइज टू मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल्स ओके दे सेट दैट एटॉमिक ऑर्बिटल्स ऑफ सिमिलर एनर्जीज लीनियरली कम्बाइन टूगेदर टू प्रोड्यूस मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल्स देयर एनर्जीज विल बी सिमिलर टू प्रोड्यूस मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल्स वॉट आर दोज टू मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल्स द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू अटामिक ऑर्बिटल्स गिव टू मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल्स द गिविंग टू मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल्स विथ लोअर एनर्जी एंड हायर एनर्जी द लोअर लोअर एनर्जी लेवल कार्ड बी एम ओ बॉन्डिंग मॉलिकुलर थ्यूरी एंड हायर एनर्जी लेवल कार्ड ए बी एम ओ मीन्स एंटी बॉन्डिंग मॉलिकुलर थ्यूरी आफ्टर दैट दिस शेयर दैट दिल कम द फॉलोइंग नॉट अ फीलिंग द फीलिंग Here is not feeling; it's the feeling. Here it says that the feeling of. Just wait. It says that the feeling of electrons into the molecular orbital, orbital is followed by the rules of electronic configuration. Like it will fill the electron in molecular orbital. This one configuration will be used. That is Alpha principle, Huns rule, and Pauli's exclusion. These rules we have done already. so let's take an example of h2 when it says that they overlap and give rise to two molecular orbitals so we will take an example of h2 okay talking about 1h here is our 1h that is uh, moving around the nucleus another h they both add together okay they are having upward electron 1 1 and these are called its atomic orbitals these both are its what atomic orbitals talking about its excretion they when they overlap together they produce what they produce two bondings two molecular orbitals one is called and second is called one is called bmo that is bonding molecular orbital one is abmo that is anti bonding molecular orbital okay talking about anti body molecular or, orbital these are called the destructive destructive overlapping this is called destructive overlapping and this is called constructive or overlapping okay what is destructive and constructive this anti bonding molecular orbitals having high energy and this bonding molecular orbitals having low energy the constructive and destructive is let me tell you this is a crust and trough of two one means crust trough crust and trough okay this is positive this is also positive this is negative this is negative when positive overlap with negative okay crust uh, overlap with trough so it produce it called destructive overlapping but when positive means crust overlap with crust so it will call bonding molecular orbitals that is called constructive overlapping okay Le- constructive overlapping having lower energy because which one will be having lower o- overlapping having high energy so positive and negative repel to each other so what is uh, it does it having low uh, overlapping not that much overlapping because they are not same uh, uh charges so it's having high energy which is having same charges having low energy means high overlapping but low energy low overlapping high energy okay let's move to another point that we discussed over here that this we have done after that uh, we have said that the filling of electron into molecule let we take one more example of it okay like we are having h2 again okay here this is our energy level okay energy level this is our two things okay two hydrogen 1h and 2h these are our two hydrogens wait this have high energy these are our two hydrogens h and h now what we will do this is our one atomic orbital 
this is our another atomic orbital it also 1s it's also 1s with upward electron okay now what it do that when it join from here to this one okay here what it will do it will produce bonding molecular orbital which one reaction happening bonding molecular orbital and this one the both one upward electron and one downward electron both will be here okay in low energy and another reaction will happen that is called anti bonding molecular orbital okay anti bonding molecular orbital is upward and in this one what will happen we are in s s1 s and this is a destructive so it's represented with star okay s means sigma it is sigma 1s because it's in a x axis line so it will call a sigma bond here will be also a sigma bond that s1 s now what happen how we will know the bond order that which one bond order is it's making the single covalent bond double or triple okay so for the bond order we are having formula like we are having two electrons over here so these two electrons are of bonding molecular orbital and there is a zero electron in anti bonding molecular orbital and this one position which is having two electron is called diamagnetic position i will tell you that how diamagnetic we will also learn that one property so till before that uh, we will know that like numbers of bonds in the pair of electrons is called bond order so let me clarify the bond order also like we are having definition of here bond order talking about bond order the formula of bond order is number of electron means number of electron in bonding molecular orbital we will subtract that from number of electron the anti bonding molecular orbital and divided by 2 okay so let's suppose we are having number of electron in uh, hydrogen was in bonding molecular orbital was 2 and in anti bonding was 0 so 2 minus 0 with 2 minus 0 divided by 2 so 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 so it mean it will make a single covalent bond that will be h and h single covalent bond okay so here we know the bond order now how we will know the magnetic character of covalent molecule that what is its character so we will write here magnetic character of covalent molecule talking about its magnetic character there are the two characters one is called a paramagnetic okay and another is called diamagnetic paramagnetic and diamagnetic there is a two difference in diamagnetic and paramagnetic the paramagnetic uh, symbol we will show like upward okay and diamagnetic we will show upward and downward opposite spin and there will be just one spin okay talking about paramagnetic in paramagnetic the our bond uh, hydrogen means any covalent molecule character of the covalent molecule will be the paramagnetic when it's attract just wait yeah when it attract toward magnetic because why it will attract to magnetic because of unpair of electron obviously we know that the unpair of electrons will attract to each other and make a covalent bond so it will call a paramagnetic unpair of electron means there is a no pair of electrons okay and same happen in diamagnetic in diamagnetic uh, there will the not to be attracted because pair of electrons 
like here is a pair of electrons so this is called a uh, pair of electrons so this is called a lone pair or you can also see the covalent pair so here so our hydrogen was a di magnetic because we are having two electrons we are having bond of two electrons we are having pair of two electrons one upward one downward in bonding molecular orbital so they, that's where this will, this will called a di magnetic character of covalent molecule because it will not attract because it's in a pair hope you understand today's last theory that is molecular orbital theory m o h thank you so much for listening